Hey there, in last video we have completed our secondary storage devices. Now in this lecture we will be focusing on input devices and the next video will be about the output devices. Okay, there are many input devices which are responsible to take the data from the user and transfers this data to the computer system so that computer system can process it and give us a desired result so many input devices are there we will talk about them one by one and try to understand what are their functionalities and how they work first of all let's have a look at what input devices are they are also called peripheral devices all right so these are the peripheral devices because they surround the computer CPU and memory all right these are an electromechanical device that accepts data from outside world that's called the user and translates them into a form of a computer which can a computer can interpret all right so next is their speed is very slow as compared to that of the primary storage and CPU obviously their speed is going to be very slow because it does depend on a user how a user can uh, how fast a user can interact with a computer because their speed in most cases dependent or depends on the movement of a mechanical parts for example a keyboard all right so various types of input devices are there and we are uh, going to uh, see them one by one first one is our keyboard what is a keyboard keyboard is just this device which helps us to uh, input the text inside the computer system they allow data entry into a computer system by pressing a set of keys okay whatever we are in need which word we are in need of we can press the set of those keys neatly mounted on a keyboard connected to the computer this keyboard is uh, co connected with a computer uh, from uh, with a wire or it can be a wireless also okay most popular one used today is 101 QWERTY keyboard this 101 is a format of a QWERTY one and this keyboard is a uh, most popular used nowadays next is our mouse what is a mouse mouse is somehow like this thing this uh, is called a point pointing device okay we can point from the mouse onto the screen after introduction of a GUI this GUI means a graphical user interface we don't have to input the command lines to make a computer system run but instead the graphical user interfaces have been introduced where there are many icons placed on a uh, computer system uh, within which we can press them and we can access the same thing which we are looking for via this mouse and mouses became must have these are the must have and a most populous point and draw device this is a point and draw device and this mouse is must have among them all all right it is a small handheld device rolling on a surface bearing or a laser this could have a bearing that is a ball uh, beneath it or it could be a laser within which it can detect the uh, pointer onto the screen and has two or more buttons onto the top this is a scrolling bar over here this is the one button this is the right click okay and this is a left click this is a scrolling bar and it also has a click inside it so as a user moves it the cursor moves onto the terminal screen okay so few types of mouses are there first one is mechanical and optical mechanical is the one with a wheel inside it with a ball uh, beneath it and the optical one is the laser one second it has uh, one two or three buttons onto the mouse there could be one two or three buttons onto it serial and bus mouse serial is the uh, this this is talking about this port this is a bus port that is a USB and other and the other one is a serial okay next is wired and cordless wired is this one which is having a wire along with a bus okay and the second list is wireless which is also called the cordless it is uh, based on a Bluetooth usually next is electronic pen it has a commonly two types and the first one is our light pen what is a light pen it uses photoelectric cell and an optical lens mounted on it for the operation okay when we move the tip of a pen over the screen surface the graphics 
cursor automatically locks onto the position of the pen and track its movement over the screen okay CAD that is a computer aided design applications also use light pens frequently how does a light pen look like it is a light pen here okay second one is writing pen with pad okay we usually call it as a pen tab okay this special electronic pen comes with a special uh, type of writing pad a uh, user writes onto the pad with the pen directly displays on the monitor screen artists and tutors usually use it they use it very often and i myself is using it all right this is how it is looking like a pen tab is somehow like this this is a pad beneath it and this is a pen with which we can write on it and the directly it directly uh, reflects it onto the computer monitor screen all right now next is our touch screens okay this is a touch screen somehow and uh, we have usually used them on onto our mobile phones nowadays okay now it is the most simple and easiest to all of the input devices make a note of one thing that this monitor screen or a mobile phone is input as well as output device we can input onto the same screen and the same screen is going to give us the output also okay we have two types of touch screens as first one is optical sensor we call it caps okay which can detect both which can detect the touch of a finger onto the screen using optical sensors later helps the computer to find the exact location of the touch i will tell you the mechanism over here this is a controller of that touch the, those are the electrodes this one two and three okay this is a conductive layer this is one layer between it placed between the other layer is uh, onto the background and this is in the front the front one is called the protective layer and the middle one is called the conductive layer and the last one is, is like a glass layer okay this is a glass layer now this conductive layer can sense it can sense the uh, variation of uh, voltage drop and this electrode can detect where actually it lies and it can draw the exact location of the touch all right and the second one is our pressure sensitive screens we call them a resistive screens and those were uh, used in the earlier mobile phones we have to press them very hard enough so that we can select the particular thing which we which we are seeking on the uh, screen okay flat pad is located beneath the base of the computer screen which detects the pressure this is based on the pressure of a finger applied onto the screen all right nowadays nearly every electronic device is having a touch screen to make it more interactive easy to use like a pc there could be a mobile phones or atm atms are the best option best uh, examples of touch screens next we have image scanners okay and it translates paper document into electronic format okay if we have a hard copy of something we can change it to the soft copy like as text pictures handwritten etc for the input to the computer so that we can feed it to the computer later on okay two commonly used image scanners are first is our flatbed scanner it's like a copier machine the xerox machine you might be uh, you might be familiar with that consisting of a box having a glass plate on its top which helps to scan the document this is this is how it looks like this is a flatbed scanner second one is our handheld scanner it can hold in the hand to scan the document it consists of set of leds encased in a small case mostly used to scan barcodes make a note of this thing barcodes and qr codes this is how it looks like this is a handheld scanner next optical character recognition this is called the ocr device this is how an ocr device looks like it's simply used when a scanned input document is stored as an image instead of text we have a book simply we have a book and we want to uh, copy that text which is on the book written on the book we can we want to take that text and to give it to the computer in in the form of text we can use this ocr device okay this device is equipped with a character recognition software obviously it converts bitmap images okay the pictures of character to equivalent uh, ASCII codes that is American standard codes which then a computer can interpret as letters numbers and special characters optical mark reader we know well what OMR sheets look looks like and these are the same OMR sheets and the reader is responsible to read the input which we have given on the OMR sheet okay this is an OMR sheet whenever we give our exams and uh, we fill up these pages with a mark on somewhere and this optical reader optical mark reader is responsible to scan 
our answers our responses okay it can recognize pre-specified type of mark okay made by pencil or a pen it is usually being used in MCQ test papers okay multiple choice test papers next is barcode reader this is a handheld device and it can read a barcode okay data coded in the form of small lines this is called a barcode uh, called bars are known as barcodes which represent alphanumeric data by varying their width and spacing between them that means these have different bits and spacing between them these lines and thus they can store alphanumeric data into them barcode reader uses the laser beam scanning technology to read barcodes tagged on the many things okay next is our magnetic ink character recognition this is called MICR what is it this is how MICR scanner or a reader is looking like MICR is similar to the OCR that is optical character recognition okay it's mostly used to read the checks which checks the checks we are in the we are having in the bank okay the characters on the check are pre printed using a special ink there's a special ink okay containing particles of iron oxide okay having magnetic property all right now electronic card reader what is it this is electronic card reader it is a machine which is associated with an electronic cards which is an ATM cards okay whenever an electronic card is swiped into it the reader reads the data encoded on the card and transmits it to the bank's computer activating the customers account for the transaction right now few more input devices we are having are speech recognition devices what are speech recognition devices it inputs data to the computer system by speaking okay speaking to it mic is an best example this is a mic all right next one is vision input system here computer accepting input data by seeing seeing an object robots placed on QC that is a quality check okay checking on a grading lines of a company is the best example of it that is these QC's are the best example QC robots thank you very much we have completed almost all input devices so far and our next topic will be output devices and we will try to cover it as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed this channel yet then make sure to subscribe it soon so that you can stay updated about all the latest upcoming videos till then take care of yourself thank you very much